So what we're going to talk about are blogs, do's and don'ts of social media, press release optimization, and something uh, that I call the power of content and a distribution network. What that means for you in terms of online marketing and some takeaways. So, so in essence, um, there's a lot of people focus in terms of search engine optimization, let's say. You're, you're focusing on standard search engines like Google, Yahoo, MSN, and Ask, right? There's lots of other ways that you can drive traffic and sales to a business website that have the added advantage of helping your standard search engine rankings. That's what I'm going to talk about. First thing, blogs. How many people have either a personal or a corporate blog? The organization. Okay, great. About a third. One of the first things, we've been running a blog for about three years, um, following these guidelines. And as a result, it's in the top, just to this morning, broke. it's ranked like number 185 on Technorati of all 60 million blogs that um, Technorati is tra tracking. So that's based on links, so we love to build links. Um, and, and following some of these guidelines or things that we've done, I want to share with you. One of the first things you need to do when you're deciding what to do with a blog and whether a blog has a place within your company communication strategy or part of your marketing is to decide well what's it for I mean what business goal are you trying to solve by having a blog um, it could be a, a blog for a small business that sells a product it could be a blog for a site that has a content management system that is difficult to edit and make search engine friendly so one of the easiest things you can do to add search engine friendly content to a, a situation like that is to add a blog or it might be an online media room or a blog powered media room for a public relations uh, reason where you can archive press releases, media coverage, um, articles, webinars, podcasts, things of that nature and make it subscribable via RSS. It's important to understand what the goals are for your blog to then decide what audience you're trying to target. 